Hi Vital Ones! It's time for the Vital Talk with Dr. Sam and D. So we're going to give everybody a couple of minutes to come on in. Um, I know there's a couple of people who wanted to join, so we'll just give them a couple of minutes. I'm going to share, and you guys share, and then we'll get started. Today we're talking about seven naturopathic secrets to pain control. So let's give it a second, come on in. Give everybody a minute. Glad you guys are here. Yippee yay 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 yay. <laughs> I'm looking to share and it's not coming up, so my computer's a little slow. <laughs> That's okay, we'll get it done, we'll get it done. All right, come on in. So a couple of rules, um, not exactly rules, but a couple of things I want you guys to know is if you type in the chat, that lets me know you're here. I can acknowledge you and say thanks for being here. Also, if you guys type in the chat your questions when I'm done telling you um, everything that I want to share with you today, I will answer any questions that you guys have, um, especially if they're relevant to what we're talking about today, okay? So let me try to share again. I'm not really sure why it doesn't want me to share, but we can try. We can only do what we can do. All right, let's get started anyway. So I'm Dr. Sam Price. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I am an expert in natural medicine. I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. All right, and today we're gonna to talk about seven secrets to naturopathic pain management, all right? What exactly is pain? Pain is just a trigger of your nervous system that tells you, ow, this hurts. But what is that pain telling us? It's telling us that there's an imbalance. So even when we have chronic conditions, we can be in pain, and it's because our system is imbalanced. So I want you guys to understand that as I go through some of the naturopathic ways to manage pain control, okay? So the seven, I'm gonna list them for you, and then we'll go through each of them, all right? So number one would be magnets. Number two is acupuncture. Number three is supplements. Number four is going to be physical touch. Number five are drugs because naturopathic physicians are licensed to prescribe drugs, so I want you guys to understand that. Number six is diet, and number seven is my favorite detox. I know I talk about diet and detox all the time. Y'all are going to hear it over and over again. All right, so Vital Ones, let's talk about it. So number one, magnets. Yes, they can be used for pain control. They're not a novel idea. So the way in which they work, at least in my opinion, is that we have positive and negative charges within our body, and magnets actually have positive and negative charges, right? So when you're putting them, like the bands that they have that you can put around your arm, or a bracelet that you can put around your arm specifically for carpal tunnel, or the knee bands that you see, or some jewelry, sometimes they have necklaces. So what it's doing is it's actually bringing the positive and negative charges into balance, which balances you, especially that specific area and it decreases the inflammation because once you're in balance there is no inflammation so this is how magnets work I've also seen them as mattress pad covers I've seen them as like separate pads that you can just lay on um, uh, they've got quite a few different magnetic therapies now um, but if you can find like a bracelet or a watch or a necklace or something like that give it a try I think they work really well Number two is acupuncture. Now you guys know I love acupuncture because I do acupuncture, right? So let's talk about acupuncture. So this actually alters the flow of energy within the body. It corrects imbalances by actually stimulating the central nervous system. So we're actually stimulating endorphins, which are chemicals within the body, to trigger natural opioid receptors, which are your pain uh, receptors so everybody's heard of opioid drugs and that's how they're reacting to actually make you feel better and decrease the pain okay so acupuncture works on the flow of energy 
on the central nervous system because it's actually going to go to your brain to neurotransmitters to signal the endorphins and the opioid receptors so i love acupuncture it's a great therapy so specifically let me show you guys a um, point if you can see it so right here in that little fat area can you see that all right right here this little point right here is called li4 large intestine 4 right here okay and if you can press that as an acupressure point this actually helps to modulate pain so in acupuncture we call it the aspirin point it's like the all over catch me um, pain point hi there um, if you can just type in the chat let me know you're here so I can say hi um, we are talking about seven naturopathic tips um, or secrets to pain management today so I've already gone over one one is magnets number two is acupuncture number three is supplements number four is physical touch number Number five is going to be drugs, number six is diet, and number seven is going to be detox, okay? So we just went over magnets and acupuncture, so let me tell you about supplements. So supplements, there are plenty of supplements that actually work for pain um, modulation and management. So homeopathy is fantastic for pain. Hi! Um, Number one is Arnica. Arnica is a flower, but we make it into these little white pellets um, called homeopathy. Um, usually have no side effects whatsoever. Arnica actually helps to decrease inflammation. And when we're using Arnica, I normally use Arnica for trauma. All right, so you're thinking bruises and muscle soreness and things like that. So one of the areas I love it for is physical medicine for athletes. Um, if you've been in a car accident, I'm going to tell you to do 200C Arnica every hour on the hour and go to the hospital to make sure nothing's actually broken. Okay, um, surgery. I love Arnica for um, after surgery as well. Trauma. So trauma, bruising, decreasing inflammation. All right. The other one that I wanted to tell you guys about is Belladonna. This is another homeopathic that I like, and they use the resin specifically to desensitize nerve endings. So when I think of Belladonna, I think about it increasing circulation, and I think of it for nerve and joint pain specifically. So that's Belladonna. Those are two of the homeopath homeopathics that I wanted to tell you guys about today. So some herbs and some supplements that we can also put in this category of supplements are peppermint, which I'm not going to go into because I actually talked about it in my Facebook Live about essential oils. So peppermint is number one. Turmeric is one that I really like. So turmeric is curcumin. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about this in the news and reading about it lately. So in order to actually make it work for pain modulation, you need to add black pepper to it. It actually opens up um, the resin and makes it actually active. Okay, so on the internet you will find something called a uh, golden latte. Um, this is turmeric and some other stuff that you actually make together as a paste and then you drink it at night to help with pain. It actually is very anti-inflammatory, fantastic for um, cancer as well. So wintergreen is fantastic as well. Wintergreen is what you're smelling when you rub Bengay on you. Okay, so it's got an analgesic anti-inflammatory effect. Um, bromelain is the active constituent in pineapple and I think of this specifically for sinus areas um, so if you've got migraine headache or sinus infection I really love bromelain it's, it's fantastic for anti-inflammation okay um, supplements let's talk about essential fatty acids or fish oils right so the fish oils that I would suggest would be something like something that has EPA and DHA that's EPA and DHA so EPA is going to decrease inflammation from the neck down DHA decreases inflammation from the neck up so when you're getting a fish oil that actually has EPA DHA you're decreasing inflammation in the whole body and we know that inflammation causes pain so this would be fantastic for that Another thing that I like to test for in my patients is magnesium and B12. Most patients that have a magnesium and B12 deficiency have some sort of pain. So magnesium is wonderful for cramps. So any magnesium actually does uh, muscle relaxation. So I often will prescribe Epsom salt baths. So Epsom salt is nothing but magnesium sulfate. It helps to release or relax the muscles. 
And then B12 is often indicated for diabetic patients that are taking like metformin. It pulls the B12 out and they get neuropathy. So B12 is wonderful for neuropathy specifically, okay? So that's all I wanted to talk about for supplements. There's plenty more, trust me. Um, but that's all I'm gonna talk about for supplements. So number four, we're gonna talk about physical touch. I love physical touch. So a hug, a massage, or an adjustment is what I'm talking about, okay? So when you're getting a massage, you're also doing muscle relaxation. Um, a hug is increasing those happy chemicals like oxytocin. Um, and then an adjustment is actually fixing the structural um, component that's actually causing the pain. So regular chiropractic, osteopathic, or naturopathic manipulation techniques are wonderful to keep you out of pain, so prevention of pain. Also, when you're experiencing pain, sometimes it's a structural issue and you actually need to get that corrected, okay? And sometimes it can be corrected by that or sometimes you might need surgery. Why don't you try the chiropractic, osteopathic, or name? All right, so let's talk about number five. Five are gonna be drugs. Um, I'm going to talk about these because, yes, naturopathic physicians are licensed in some states um, and have DEA license numbers. So that would be morphine, codeine, ibuprofen, um, Advil, Tylenol, any kind of NSA, which is a um, uh, non-steroidal non anti-inflammatory drug, um, Aleve, ibuprofen, those type of things. What I want to talk about is, yes, they're over the counter, but I don't think you should be using them so frequently. Um, they have some side effects. So the side effects are when you're consistently using them like daily and often, they cause, it's a stomach irritant and they can cause ulcers, okay? Also, some of them can cause allergic reactions, and those allergic reactions that you would see would be like skin rashes. The other thing that you might see is hypertension or liver or kidney issues, um, specifically with these type of pain medication drugs. So if you can use a naturopathic approach or something more natural, that would be great. Yes, these are sometimes needed, and then I'm not saying that they're not needed. I'm just saying if you can find something um, that's has no side effect, then that would be better for you. So number six is diet, and you know that this is one of my favorite topics. So number six, diet, let's talk about it. If we think about, when I talk about blood type and genotype diet, I'm talking about lectins specifically. Um, genetically, that you are supposed to eat so that you don't increase inflammation in your body. The new thing that's now in my practice is the Carroll Method for food intolerance. And when I talk about food intolerances, I'm talking more of the genetic enzymatic ability for you to digest and metabolize your food. And this is so important because if you're not digesting your food, then it's becoming rancid or it's putrefying in your, your abdomen area or your stomach or in your gut, right? If you've ever seen a piece of fruit that goes rancid or you've ever seen a piece of bread that has mold on it, if you think about that in your, in your stomach area, in your body, that's nasty. That's called toxemia. Um, and you don't want toxemia to build up. When we have toxemia, we also have inflammation, which causes pain, okay? Which causes other chronic conditions. So diet is super important. So you need to know specifically what your lectin reactivity is and your food intolerance, all right? So quickly, I'll just go through the blood types again for you. Blood type O should avoid things like grains and certain beans. Um, blood type A should be a vegetarian and they should avoid uh, meat um, and dairy. And then blood type B should avoid chicken, corn, and soy. And then blood type AB has a little bit of both A and B, so they shouldn't have red meat and they should not have corn, okay? So that's diet, kind of in a nutshell. Um, and then now let's talk about number seven, which is detox. There's so many ways you can detox, all right? So number one is I actually found a study where they're talking about um, visualization and imagery for pain control. So you can actually visualize yourself pain-free. I love this. 
it's very natural, it's not invasive, and it doesn't cost you anything. So I love that idea, so why don't you give that a try? Um, I thought about foot detox, which is what we do here in my practice. Foot detox is a lot like what I was talking about with the magnets. So specifically when I place your feet into the foot detox bath, there is an ionizer that's in the middle that has a charge on it. We know that you have positive and negative charges within your body. So once the cell salts and the ionizer get with your body, we're neutralizing positive and negative charges in your body to harmonize it and make it balance, which then allows you to pull the toxins out. So that's a great detox. Specifically, what I'm seeing in my patients is I'm seeing a lot of orange color, and orange means that it's pulling from the joints, which is a lot of where my patients are having pain issues, right? So I will see the orange color first, and then after I see the orange color, a couple of times after they've um, had foot detoxes, then we'll start seeing brown and black and green and getting to the actual organs. But if you think about peeling the layers of an onion, right, the joint areas would be first. So I'm seeing a lot of orange color right now. Hi, whoever just joined. The other one is hydrotherapy. We do this in my office as well. Hydrotherapy is wonderful for increasing circulation. It helps with peristalsis and helps you move your bowels really well, and it increases your immune system. So it's a wonderful detoxing system. Um, the other one is sauna. I love infrared sauna. It actually gets deep into, hi Michael, thanks for joining. Um, it gets deep into your cellular layer and it actually makes you sweat. And when you're sweating, the sweat is toxins coming out of your body. So this would be fantastic also for any kind of pain modulation. As long as you're detoxing and getting toxins out, you are helping with pain control. So, so laughing, ha 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 ha, I love laughing. Laughter is actually a therapy prescribed by Cancer Treatment Centers of America now, woohoo! I've been prescribing this for my patients for years. Laughter is a wonderful therapy. It actually decreases stress hormones, and when you think about stress, people carry stress in different areas, like their neck and tension, and they carry it in their stomach and can cause constipation. Um, it, they carry it in their head and it can cause headaches. So stress actually can cause pain so anything we can do to decrease stress so laughing actually has been shown to decrease stress hormones and it actually increases serotonin and endorphins and we talked about that before these are your natural chemicals that work on your opioid receptors to make you feel better isn't that cool I thought that was cool so all right, let me go back over them right quick. All right, so these are seven naturopathic tips or secrets to pain management and modulation. Number one, I told you about magnets. Number two, I told you about acupuncture and how it works. Number three, I told you some supplements, homeopathic, botanical, and regular supplements. Number four, we talked about physical touch. That would be hugging. That would be massage therapy. That would be physical adjustment by a chiropractor, a naturopathic physician, or a doctor of osteopathic medicine, so that's a DO. We talked about drugs and their side effects and the fact that they can cause some more harm than, than good. Yes, they're needed, but mm, they shouldn't be used every single day. Um, we talked about diet. We talked about the fact that there are food intolerances that cause toxemia to build up. We talked about using a blood type, gen genotype diet to help with decreasing inflammation. We talked about the different blood, type is, blood types, so O, A, a, B, and B. And then we talked about detox strategies. So that would be imagery, that would be laughter, that would be foot detox, hydrotherapy, and sauna. So if you guys have any questions, please type them in the chat right quick and then I will take your questions. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you guys being here. It's great to have you guys. All right, let's get some questions. I see there's three people here. I don't know who's here besides Michael. If you'll just type in the chat, I can say hi. Any questions? All right, if there are no questions, I'm Dr. Sam Price, a licensed naturopathic physician. I'm your expert in natural medicine. For diabetic, what do you recommend? Um, so we talked about this in the supplements specifically. A lot of times diabetic patients have a deficiency in B12. Um, specifically, if you're on a medication called um, uh, metformin, it pulls B12 
and B12 is wonderful for diabetic neuropathy specifically. So I would definitely get you on some type of genetic based diet for you, so that's blood type or genotype diet, uh, to decrease inflammation in general. Uh, definitely stuff to manage blood sugar regulation. And then B12 is really important for diabetic patients. Chromium, vanadium, certain minerals um, and amino acids are really great for diabetic patients as well to decrease the inflammation, okay? That was a great question, Michael. Anybody else? I know it takes a, a second to actually type in the questions, so if you guys think of questions while I'm talking, have at it. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. All right. I'm Dr. Sam Price. I am a licensed naturopathic physician. I am your expert in natural medicine. I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. Thanks guys for joining me. If you want to do a 20 minute consult, please hop over to my website at www.drsamnd. That's D R S A M M N is a naturopathic, D is in doctor.com. And I will answer your questions. It's a 20 minute free consult. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining.